This crazy day for you started at 5 a.m. It did. It cheese. did, and I'm here. Just, you know, for fried chicken, you're here. Thank you. You know what? Fried chicken and rice. Ugh. The best of the best. <laughs> yes, and with that, we welcome you to Kate's Drama the Podcast. We've got Marky Strom for this episode, but the correct pronunciation of Marky Strom, S T R O. Uh. It, oh, it's actually. Uh. Because, uh. like, umlaut is a German thing. Oh my God. Which is, is I guess, closer to dots? my characters. That's the dots. That's umlaut. Mine is uh. Because I'm Norwegian. So it's an O with a slash. Okay. So it's. Uh, as opposed to uh. Uh, so, uh, not uh. Uh. so it's strum. Strum. <laughs> We've got Marky strum. strum. <laughs> but you know what? I'm, I'm fine with stroem. Stroem. That's what I get all the time. Yeah, because so. me, I'm tatlonghari. I get yeah. like all sorts um, of jokes with it. So yeah. Yeah, nobody can really say it correctly, especially when it's a foreigner, which is kind of cute. Yeah. I, I think it's cute how the sound music people said it. Yeah, did I get it right? Tat Long Harry. Tat Long Harry, yeah. But obviously, the Pinoy na Pinoy. That's why I love having it out yeah. there. When I was a kid, it was problematic. And I I did say three kings more. And my dad was into writing like three and a crown on my ah. uh, notebooks or whatever. But now, it sounds like a superhero or yeah you know what it's all about how you look at it right yeah, I, and I, I feel like having a last name that's so different from everyone else right. makes you unique like strum today strum, strum. strum. today Which we will say it, right? electricity it means a god of thunder because i'm a viking so I'm, you are electric i'm electric yeah so it's like current or thunder and you do have a natural energy that everyone is drawn to. Oh, same as you. So just to tell everybody who doesn't know, um, you are currently leaving your Lumang Tao theater era for a moment because of Pokemon. <laughs> but he did Mulasabuan, Sound of Music, and Larawan, all set in the 40s. Well, yeah. Yana, no? It was actually interesting because first, I started off with um, Mula Sabuan, which was the end, tail end of the war. Tail end. Right? And, but this happened in our timeline of our lives. It happened after the pandemic. I did see you. That was my yes. first play. And it felt like it was speaking to me because it was about artists somehow. And, and it felt great to watch you guys in the Samsung Theater. <coughs> it happened to me. <coughs> <coughs> yes. It was actually very interesting um, having... To do this because it's my first full-on Filipino play. Oh. Aside from Awitin Mo Tisa Sayoko. Which we did. We together did together as well. CCP. But it didn't really involve much acting. dialogue yeah. or acting. This one, on the other hand, had a lot of poetry, mm -hmm. which was all really deep Tagalog. Deep Tagalog, but your character was not deep. He wasn't deep at all. He, he was, was shallow cute. AF. <laughs> and, and what was interesting about uh, the character was that he was just, you know, so wide-eyed. And yeah. he just, you know, he just believed what everyone had to say. And he just followed. He was like a follower. Mm -mm. And it was great to see how he evolved through the story. And then I went from good boy yes. to bad boy real quick with you as as well. In, and that's um, where our friendship blooms. So we are theater friends. I watched you first and then we were together in The Sound, the sound of, of Music. music. The, uh, this was just March yeah. 2023. No, but you did Carousel first. I did Carousel which, December, <sighs> which I watched, I, which I did after watching you guys. Yeah, that was the one I really want. But December is like super busy rocket season uh -huh. so I and really you were in demand right? after after that yeah but then it was great because right after that we got to do Sound of Music together yes. which is the which we auditioned for and we kind of felt did we get the part yeah I was I, you saw me there in that kind of like an audition meeting and I was like hmm what is she doing here uh -oh. and then I saw you sat down at the table I was like hmm confirmed <laughs> <laughs> And then after that, like, we spoke and, like, I was kind of scared because the weather was, like, a whole process to that. It yeah, started off. it was off, a wait. It was a bit of a wait. Yeah, it started off as just, like, okay, do you want audition? You're like, okay, I'm down. And then let's have a meeting. And then we had the meeting. And then send in your video. Send in the video. And then you wait and wait and wait. It was, like, an, a couple of months. And mm -hmm. then I found out I got it. And I had to drop everything. I said, nope, I'm, le I'm leaving radio for four weeks. 
I'm yes. going to focus on this role and I'm just going to get it right. Right. Same, same. So um, I'm really glad that Showtime also gave me a work leave. Yeah. So we were gone from work for like a month <laughs> plus. But your energy during that time and your excitement just brought it to a whole other level because he made it like very nationalistic. Yeah, because if you think about it, like normally we have, uh, you know, the shows we have here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. And you have people who go abroad and do shows abroad. But in this situation, we actually had um, the show come here for our market yes. to watch or the entire Philippines to watch. And we're basically representing them. Mm-hmm. Basically making it seem like there is a chance for each and every single one of them to succeed and and to join an international cast mm-hmm. if so they so want to in the future. The Broadway Asia touring cast. Touring cast. That particular show was actually a Broadway, the Broadway mm-hmm. version of the show, which won an award, right? Which won um, a Tony. It was great to, to work with all these people from abroad, from different cultures. And they were very welcoming. And it was extra special because it was our birthday month. Yes. Like, yeah. we, like literally <laughs> the last week... It was my birthday on the Tuesday. And Lauren. then it was Lauren, who was uh, my Lizo. It was her birthday on the 22nd, which is the Wednesday. And then, no, no, I'm 22. Oh, no, you, 22, 22nd was you. And then, see, uh, Lauren was the 23rd, which is the Thursday, which is where we guessed it on Showtime. Yeah, it was. Yes. Yeah. So I would call this friendship of ours parang a life moment form kind of a friendship because yeah. some people because of a calamity or a heartbreak parang that's the the, the main parang the central thing that yeah, bonds it, them yeah. together yeah but i think for us it's this one theater experience because we had done a weekend mo at isasayoko but this one was just so major and we were together every day yeah. i had never done so many shows even like, if we didn't really go. have we didn't really have a scene together well we had one but yeah, it was just like we made it work. I was just like I, I just had to look at her, That's it. and she had to look at me, and then I just walked out. Pero I mga, ran out. We have picture tie together. We need to have those printed nga pala. Yeah, we need those photos because like hello, it's it's it's, it's a moment. I mean, right. it's our first like credit with with the Broadway International Group. I guess it's it's just opened a lot of doors um, for potential future work for both mm-hmm. of us, and it's. And it's great to have shared this adventure that, with you. That adventure. And I think, you know, you were right about it being like a nationalistic endeavor because being at the stage door, I did meet so many Filipinos. And I was so surprised about how this project meant to them and how proud they were just to see us representing yeah. a flag be, by being part of the cast. Like, some kids would draw me and then may flag. Yeah. Kasama pala talaga yung being Pinoy and the Pinoy Pride. Exactly. And it's it's great that we were one of the first people to, to do that because, I mean, Rachel is coming back. I know. She's, I'm so excited for her. She's going to Hamilton. I, I was telling her, I'm you know, to watch. the Filipinos deserve to watch you in the Philippines as well because iba rin eh, like, not everyone can afford to watch her in the yeah. West End. I watched her once in the Whoa, West End. Because you can like, afford but, it. <laughs> no, but it was on the way to Norway. Kasi. Sakto, no. Strum. No, but, Strum. On my way, but on my way to Norway, I stopped by London. And I was like, I have to watch Le Miserable with Rachel and go. I swear, the great timing. And I watched her and she was amazing. Oh, Everyone let's was watch in her together tears. Here. Let's do it. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure we're going to get... We better get it. <laughs> she, I think deserve. She was my Shanka batchmate ka sa Asap. She was my seatmate. Oh yeah. The time that I was there. Yeah. Oh, I love her. Asap I love Rachel. Cuz I I used to actually uh, produce a few music videos and um there was one I produced with her. No. And it was this 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 interesting dream she had about her like it's just a visions of so many interesting visions where she saw a little girl, a little version of herself who found a mirror. So she told me her dream and I was Mm-mm. like, okay. Ah, this is an actual dream. An actual okay, okay. dream and we turned it into a music video and we found out that there are a few people who have a similar dream as well. Which is very interesting because it involves a certain version of herself too. <gasps> but it is a metaphoric for something else. Mm-mm. It's like she was fearful of doing something and then months later, maybe a year later, she went up to Broadway. Like, it's getting, this is one dream. Yeah, parang getting rid of your old self. Not that getting rid, but, you know, just leaving that part of you yeah, behind. Yeah, leaving the fears behind. Mm-hmm. 
I whispered fear. I remember that. And uh, after that whispered fear was whispered, she's ruling the world. And I'm just so proud of this amazing, amazing uh, Broadway star created in the Philippines. You know, Mm -hmm. because there are so many Broadway stars like that were created over there who were Filipino as well. But it's also very special to see someone who rose to fame here or who uh, who had their training here end up doing very well abroad. Yes, which West is, End. Which is what I'm very, very excited about, especially seeing her in Hamilton, because I've never seen Hamilton, so this is going to be what? my my <laughs> excursion. Into, I've heard the music, but I've never... Yeah. The, the thing is, Hamilton, I think, came out, and I was already stuck in radio. And because I was stuck in radio, I couldn't leave. Mm-hmm. Like, I literally take leaves for work. Same. I don't take leaves that, for vacation. That's what happens. That's not a thing. Yeah, right. And vacation happens during work. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, so Marky, you're going to Japan with uh, as Pokemon ambassador with uh, with our national sports esports team. Okay, cool. I it's love work, Japan. Workation. I'm going to be working as the ambassador, going to the Pokemon company and all sorts of things, meeting the voice of Ash Ketchum. But I'm also... <laughs> <laughs> We're getting but, a slap over here. But I'm but I'm also going there to maybe go see Mount Fuji. Right. Maybe oh, check out the uh, you know different other other anime that I all love. The, all the so, matcha, have all the like matcha. a food Eat trip. Eat a lot of food, walk around, meet a lot of cool people. But you're the cool people because when we did Sound of Music again, because of the Pokemon, all the kids loved you. Oh my god. So you are their friend. I like because of this. Literally what I'm told. <laughs> Marky, what is up with your market? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it was Gab Pangilinan. I remember Why this distinctly. Limited, we were in Enchanted Kingdom and we were sitting next to each other and someone comes, oh my gosh, I'm a huge fan of your theater thing. So they took a photo. Uh-huh. And then this gay gay guy comes and goes, oi Marky, pa photo naman. And then this little kid, oh my gosh, it's Marky. I watch you in Pokemon uh-huh. Asia. Professor Marky pala. Professor Marky <laughs> yeah, is Professor. Your name. Because I when I launched a couple of games, which mm-hmm. I, I launched it with a Malaysian co-host and a Australian co-host, so we did Sa Australasia yeah. launch of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends of Arc- Arceus. <laughs> and um, when I launched both those games on um, online, we we because it was during the pandemic, mm-hmm. that's when the kids started watching our little. It was a little show that we had, and they called me Professor Marky. Cute. So. So now. I'll so tell after you that. that after that, Gab goes, my gosh, no, ang lawak ng market mo, kalain mo. Like I said, you know what? You have to, you know, grow your market and really meet different kinds of people. Because Correct. if you limit yourself to one thing, how are you going to grow? Correct. And I think that's how you are as a friend as well. So um, going back to our super fun Sound of Music experience, you brought the cast to Obar. <laughs> I did. Which is where drag queens reign. Yes. It was a fun, memorable night. Is that your first time? It was my first time, but it was so good because it was with everyone. And because we're with the Sound of Music cast, they did the Sound of Music. They literally... On stage. The drag queens. And then, no, it was the other night. It was the they other night. They did Wicked. Tawang tawa sila kasi may lumilipad. But then they they and then they, they they brought me up on stage with Drew, uh-huh. who was our stage manager. And they they did Do Adir. Do Re Mi. Do, do Re Mi. So, do mi 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 so so, re pa pa, la ti ti. Ganon. So, Gusto ko yung ganon. Ganon. So, doing that was just was just fantastic because you got to like merge uh, this beautiful drag scene that we have here in the Philippines. That do it, is Your doing, two worlds, right? Uh, absolutely amazing. I only got into the whole uh, drag scene because of a, a series I did over the pandemic that, you know, opened the doors to a lot of the drag community. And... Um, was that your first drag? That was well, no. Um, I, on stage, I've done a few things uh, mm-hmm. as a drag queen. I did uh, when I was in high school. Okay. I did a show called The Apple Tree, and I was bullied incessantly. But I just went. <laughs> I don't care. Right. I'm an actor. I can uh-huh. do this. Be femme one day, be masked the next, and that's completely fine mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. that's acting. <laughs> and if you want to play a drag queen, you have to be a drag queen. So uh-huh. I had to learn how to walk in heels. Uh-huh. I had to learn how to dress up. I had to learn how to put on the makeup. Mm-hmm. I had to learn how to, you know, exude the confidence that a drag queen has. And I I was happy that I was able to really 
open the door up doors up to uh, mm-hmm. our queers in our community to, to just be themselves. Yeah. Um, during the pandemic, I was even able to walk in Arab Fashion Week. I saw that. Uh, you looked fabulous. I was the like, very wow. first uh, man in an Arab country to walk in heels and topless, which are both illegal. <laughs> And, so how was that possible? Um, I don't know because, because the designer, it's fashion. our designer was from Hollywood, and it was a private event. But it was also streamed online to millions and millions and millions of Arabs who were not very happy with the few who weren't happy, but a few were mm-hmm. like, "Go slay, slay!" But walking in seven-inch heels well, that um, is hard to close the show, uh-huh. it opened doors up to a lot of people. Um, because the year after, last year, a lot of people now are doing the same. So okay, so there was an entire show with heels. For, for men which is mm-hmm. which is great and great and painful great and absolutely painful yeah. but you know if you look at that seven in uh, seven foot tall Ken it's something else it's a sight to see you'd be like oh my gosh that's that's a giant that's how that you, outfits awesome how do you prepare for that I mean do you even practice with the heels yeah as I shot the show uh my delivery girl which involved me being a drag queen who is also a grab delivery driver mm-hmm. I had to perform in heels and I had to ride my motorcycle in heels. Wow. So literally the entire day I would be walking around set in heels. Because That's seven inch? Because um, seven inch would be three like to, the pole, three to seven. Parang pang pole dancing na yan, no? Three to seven inch heels. Uh, depending on what it is on I was doing. Scene, yeah. Normally and your outfit. Yeah, normally it was like three or four. But when it was like the big scenes, bonga scenes, mm-hmm. it would be six, seven. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was, I'm just happy to be able to really represent or help. Um, a certain culture just be more proud mm-hmm. of who they are and in their own skin and that was why it was so much fun bringing the Sound of Music cast to this amazing drag scene we have in the Philippines to be able to show them that and watch them be in awe of our talent here as well yeah I think they were really blown away by the wicked yeah. performance <laughs> when they flew up in the air right? even the international drag queens because right before um uh, we got into the pandemic. The last party I think I celebrated was in Obar. I see. So, it's, yeah, near and dear to me. Uh-uh. I mean, just that kind of thing, bringing us all there together, that's also a big deal for friendships, right? Yeah. Parang, it creates a night to remember and that binds you for life. Yeah. And our friendship grew stronger pa kasi at, right after Sound of Music, tuloy-tuloy, we had another play and Yael was so happy Yes, more time with Marky. <laughs> I love Yael. Yael's amazing. I'm so happy that I got to know him more, especially during Sound of Music and Contra Mundo. And, and Obar. And Obar. But yeah, so we did Larawan next. So that's also a period piece. That was another. And it was interesting because. Here, this is the one. Ang so you, you did give me like more shows together. I think that's. You, yes, that was right? me. That's our, uh, you know. Yeah, it's something my mom did years did together. ago. Yeah, and there's just so many of the greats have done this show, and it's just one of those iconic shows. Mm-hmm. Like it's a bucket list show that yes. you know every actor wants to try to do at least once. Because will we be doing it again? I are hope you, so. Are you doing it again? Well, I said yes. Okay, see Did you, you in yes? November. Yeah. Because you're also upset. Okay. He's like, okay, the next thing you audition for, can you make sure Marky auditions? <laughs> <laughs> when I found out that someone dropped out of the project I'm doing next, I'm like, Can you want Marky? Well, then when Marky can do it. Oh my gosh. Well, you're so busy, but whatever. Well, you know what? It's not It's not that I'm so busy. It's more that now I have to make Bawe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For the leaves I took based on sound music, like radio, literally the first week back, I sat down with our boss and he goes, Marky, <laughs> you already took one month off. <laughs> <sighs> You're not allowed to take any more leaves. You know that, right? And I said, yes. I'm sorry, Sir Lou. I'm going to make Bowie. And I haven't taken one leave. So the next one leave one since. Hi, Sir Lou. I haven't taken Hi, one Sir leave Lou. yet. And I, the only reason I'm taking a leave this week, which I, I asked for it in advance, was because it's also work. It's a it's a Correct. international event. So, so to everyone listening, please support the morning rush. Yes. That's every morning. Every, what did you start? Six? Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. on Monster RX 93.1. Katanang Brady, yes. boys. And join in on their like top 10 stuff. Yeah, join in on our top 10 stuff. We're always trending in the mornings. Like we have that time slot down yes. pat. We're always one either trending on X. <laughs> on X. 
<laughs> we're trending and our posts hindi na tweets our posts ah, do very well a lot okay. of people are always posting about it and we're always trending on twitter and um on x on x <laughs> and as in as in they're so awesome these uh, the rushers is what we call uh-huh. them they always send us food <laughs> Ah. As in, we don't even have to buy our own coffee anymore. We Yoni. have a coffee fund. Every morning, we have like uh, someone sending us something cool and just telling us how we've helped them through certain things. Yeah, because that is a tough time of the day. And you do want to get pumped up for the day or the rest of the week. Yeah. So that's what you do for a lot of people. Yeah, and that's why what we what we do is we just focus on just making people happy. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about religion. <laughs> we avoid anything that has to do with possible feuds we focus on things that'll just make people laugh and yeah, make people that's what smile you need in the morning uh, it's just a little pep me up before work and it's it's great because a lot of people are like Nasa meeting ako, pero ko pa rin kayo. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's things like that that make us make us smile and uh-huh. make us uh happy Ayan, na, na kami, Sir Lu, ah. yes oh, diba? you can do the other mm. show <laughs> A lot. Do bawal all out na, bawal na. Oh, which other show? Oh, which... oh, basta. Later, I'll tell you. Oh, tell me about it oh. later. Baka I can do it. Let's Kasi see. Kasi nga, Yael's always like, Mark, you should be in every theater thing that you do. Tell me. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Lou. Uh, Sir Lou. Lou. Pero I think if I have to do that, I can't miss TMR. I have to go to work and then go straight to rehearsal. If doable. it happens. It's doable. doable. It's doable. But hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I've done it before. Um, for Mula Sabuan. Uh the only one I didn't, I did, I didn't do it for was Sound of Music because I was like, okay, this is international. Okay, langan bonga, right. But, sa, but uh, for Mula Sabuan, I was like, okay, we have ample time, two yeah, and a half months also of rehearsal. Also, because there's, it's not daily. We had a week and some days long to rehearse for the Sound of Music, and yeah. just being with you makes me make sure that I am in tip-top shape. But it was nice to have you as a partner. Yeah. It was great to have you as a partner too. Yeah, oh my and, gosh. And because you were friends naman with everyone, at least I have a friend who's friendlier. So at least he can be the friendlier friend and then I can focus on my lines and bahala na siya with the bonding and I'll just go. Hello, <laughs> meron ka din, di ba? Like, she, she had her own, like, like dressing birth- room group. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I had my own dressing room group. We had, um... Trevor, who is our uh-huh. captain, and we had Jim. Max the Dax. <laughs> of a, f- a certain chicken brand, yeah? Yes, Max is, uh, yeah, Max is. Right? Chick- <laughs> no, no, no. He was, uh, he was your partner he in was the my show. Partner, yeah. And it was just really fun having conversations with them because yeah. it was Trevor, who was really cool, mm-hmm. and then Max, who was a he nudist. Was, he- <laughs> Philippines, we have like this really good reel that went viral. Yeah, we were just walking around Pasig River. It's kind of an interesting bunch, no? Yeah, and it was it was really funny. Like I, I told you, like, <laughs> like because he's he's proud. He's a proud nudist. So he would just change in front of us, right? It was just good. Um, that I mean, we're okay with that, right? Yeah, I mean, the other people but are then fine with that. we had our dressers who would come in, yeah. and they would they Filipino, would do that yeah, Filipino dressers. dressers, you know, a little bit more conservative, and so they'd see it to go. Oh, and then they talk to me. Hi, <laughs> Marky, si Max the Dox. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, duck. Diba? It's the sound of music, diba? Kasi yeah. Kasi puro mga baguettes naman ang kasama. Yeah, na. it was fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I did see Sabina in Korea. So, you know, these friendships remain. And maybe one day, diba? Who knows? We'll go to Obar again. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Let's go check it out one of these days when when they come come and visit and we can take them out, bring yeah. them to all sorts of different places. Um, we haven't gotten to show them like Boracay. Yeah, but you did have a fun birthday party because I had like a normal brunchy birthday party, but you had like a fun birthday party where everyone went swimming on our yeah. day off, which was my work day. Also. Yeah, because I like, even during that time I mm-hmm. also took off because it's like uh-uh. a break. And I guess that's also why you're very interesting and it's easy for you to make friends with people who are different ages, different nationalities. I remember now you were telling me about all these mga little trips that you do and you really go to many places. And Yeah, well, I mean, I, I like to go on trips alone. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, a fan of, trip. I'm a fan of going on vacations by myself because like when you are by yourself, you get to really just experience the culture as opposed mm-hmm. to just experiencing the people you're with, which you have them at home. 
But in this situation, you can go out, sit down, have a coffee or whatever, meet a random person, talk about your deepest, darkest secrets and never see them again. Yes. And it's great because you, at least you get to like let it all out. Mm -hmm. And then after you let it out, um, you can move on with your life. Sometimes that's the kind of interaction you need. It's not exactly a deep friendship like forever, but it's a deep friendship for that for moment. For that moment. Um, and that's also the whole, you know, the, the whole concept of when you have little flings as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you go out of town and you just meet someone and it's like you this click. quick romance that you mm -hmm. have uh, for like a week and then it's done. You never see each other again. I don't anymore. I'm <laughs> happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, Wait. diba. I'm happy. Yeah. So I don't... Happily in private. I saw that you posted. I'm happily in private. Yeah. Four years now. No, because... Happily like in love pala. In private. In private. Because that's, that's the thing. For me, I don't feel like I personally want to share everything online. I'm not scared of my relationship. I'm scared of everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me personally. I just yeah. don't like to have that. Because there are a lot of horrible people out there who love doing that. Correct. Yeah. Destroying Ariana Grande. Destroying <laughs> relationships. I, I sorry, I summoned my throat. But like I I don't like having that. I don't like exposing it too much. Once in a while yeah. like to my good friends like Megs and mm -hmm. you and like Hi. to random people I meet, right? Um uh -huh. I was like, come with me, I'm going to Curl's podcast. I mean I have work. Uh -huh. So, uh, better okay, next, okay. Time. next time. Next time. Like, we're very secure in a sense na pwede siya magbakasyon, pwede din ako magbakasyon, and it's completely fine. We're all so open. I can do whatever the F I want. Mm -hmm. So can my significant other. That's so nice. And it, I mean, it's but, clear, so it's good. Definitely. Yeah, and what's what's good about that is we don't because it's legal. <laughs> Di ba normally? Uh, okay, okay, okay. That makes it better because it's something you could do. So you found a... <laughs> yeah, it's something you can do. I, I, so the excitement is gone. It's gone because like oh. we don't oh, we don't even have to share it with each other. But like since it's gone, right? It, it like, works out well that way. Yeah, because like we, we trust each other, Neman, because yeah, that yeah. is the confines. That is our rules in our relationship. So it is okay mm -hmm. um, if something happens. We just talk about it. Um, it's been four years already, yeah. but like these days, we rarely we rarely hook up with any other person mm -hmm. it's more of just i'd rather go home because i have work at 5 a.m tomorrow morning and i'd rather just <laughs> lie down with you watch netflix hug and go to sleep Aww. but as for friendships how how does that go like are you okay with best friends is that ever an issue or you know since i've been young random people that you meet when you travel not necessarily it's not it's not not an issue like kunwari i've heard like little stories from bangkok making you know, whatever uh, I'm okay with that. And nagjo joke din siya, oh, you're going to Japan, bored ka na, ready ka na mag explore. <laughs> so, ang dami mga sinasabi ni, ano, ni partner. So, uh -huh. I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll enjoy myself. Tapos sabi niya, but I'm going to follow. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, come, come. I, I have my room. You can stay in our room. Uh, so, Cute. so first weekend, I'm alone. Mm -hmm. And then, I think, pupunta ka, ha? Uh, uh -huh. On the Wednesday, follow siya sa Tokyo. So, Osaka, then Tokyo. Uh, and then Yokohama. So, it's going to be like mm -hmm. uh, the full on ja Japan tour. Mm -hmm. I, I'm actually thinking of maybe going to. I'm a Harry Potter stan as well. Oh, so, uh, I know that's so it. like. Uh, I, I don't even. Uh, n not condoning what the author did, but. You must I, do Universal, perhaps. I grew up with that book. I love Harry mm -hmm. Potter. I I mean, it, it was one of those stories that made me wake up in the morning when I was 15 and 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 line up bookstores pa sa time na yon. Do you know that actually existed back in the day? Bookstores? <laughs> yeah, pa rin, maliliit. 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 But back maliliit. in the day, they were huge. And you would like line up for, for the new book. Diba? I would line up for each new book every time it came out in the summer. And I'd be in either Norway or... Were or you in the in Philippines? Costume pa? No, we did well, have costumes at time because it wasn't mm -hmm. as big as it is now with like it became it became. And the like, merch, ah, uh, you which you can buy when you yeah, go because to the universe. Well, have face to the character mm -hmm. during that time. It was just Harry Potter in the book. You would see the cartoon version that was painted on the book uh -huh. cover, so you'd know how he looked like or how she thought he'd look like. But you never actually had the Daniel Radcliffe version in your head. Gosh, you you really get me? have to go to Universal because you have to do the spells. 
I've been to Universal, but oh. I'm going again. Oh. Yeah. Did you do the actual spells? Like, um, yeah, I did. You I got did. everything to move? Yeah. I, 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 well, I I wasn't chosen. Ah. But they choose, there's like, they choose two. Okay. And the two people are, get to do it, and then they get the free one at the end. Sabi ko, <laughs> Di ako pinili. You didn't find the Pokemon though. No, in the I area. didn't find the Pokemon. That's why we have Pokemon because it's uh, I know Warner Brothers. So there you go. And then uh, so I'm I'm excited to go check that out. And then I'm gonna do Mount Fuji. And then the real work starts. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bring bring Sarah to Chenny, the voice of Ash Ketchum. Gotta be the very best, like no one ever was. I'm gonna bring her to the Pokemon Cafe with a bunch of. Um, uh, influencers and after that uh, the next day we would we're gonna head to uh, Pokemon mm-hmm. Worlds for the first day to support so this is a friendship people. formed by Pokemon yes it is um, she she didn't ask for our help but we reached out to her and then she said you know what I'm actually in line for a Webby Award I'm going up against Stephen Colbert going up against a bunch of very very the Muppets like she was up against five wow. different amazing like well known uh-huh. stars and she's what I'm like she's like I'm Sarah Nettucheni like they only know me if when you say Ash Ketchum next to my name she won Get because of the Filipinos we got the Filipinos to support uh-huh. her to vote and uh, we got her to guest on the morning rush Got her the guest on Pokemon Philippines, and she won. Um, she won the Webby. Nice. So I'm I'm so proud of her. And she was like, Ash Ketchum won the championship this year. I have to win something. Too. <laughs> so now we're more friends, no? Aside from your markets, you have all these friends. But mm. what what to you is a acceptable friend? Are you okay with mga dramatic friends? Because you are in theater, so they are the dramatic ones. Demanding friends. What What's your idea of a good friend? Um, a good friend is someone that you can be friends with and really cool with for, for a moment in time. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, there are times when you go your separate ways, do your own thing, and then see each other again go, Oh my gosh, mare, ni mga kwento for you. <laughs> You know, that's my kind of friend. Uh-huh. Like, Someone, hindi mo kailangan, you're not super attached na. I have to call you every week. Yeah, yeah. no. I'm I'm happy with just... I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. I have a lot of, like, I'll call you every week friends, including um, a girlfriend of one of our friends here in the room. Yeah. <laughs> so, ano, constant dates? Like, uh, phone cons- at least on the phone yeah, or yeah. In, in the booth because Kayla, mm-hmm. Vera, for example, I've known her for so long now. We Atlantis babies. We we grew up together uh, in the realm of showbiz and, and, and theater and now in radio mm-hmm. and you know we've seen each other's ups and downs I've seen her in her lowest of lows she's seen me in my lowest of lows I've seen her in love 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 and mm-hmm. she's seen me in love 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 so we we're, we're just there for each other and nice. it's it's great to have you know a few of those in our lives that mm-hmm. we can actually just call once in a while and say hey what's up let's have a one hour conversation on the phone talking about nothing. Um, and everything nonstop. Nonstop. But then I have a few of those in the mind. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So I guess we were talking about that guy. We were discussing earlier now. Sometimes friendships go another level, whatever level that is, when there is like a life moment like what we shared with Sound of Music or a traumatic experience or a low talaga mm. or when you throw up on someone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> have you done that? I have. Oh, the name is um, EJ. Hi, EJ Yatko. I love you, EJ Yatko. <laughs> we love you. Yeah, I love you so much. Oh my God. Para, when did you throw up on EJ? That was horrible. When was this? It was a cast party. Carousel. Yeah. Oh my God. It was so bad. Again, <laughs> thank you to EJ Yatko. For helping you as well, Deba. Right? Yes. For helping us with our audition for Sound of Music. Right. If yeah. It was him not and Paula. You, Fuck and, you. Yeah. Uh, I I also was with, with Paula, Paula on you. that day, but she she must be the lucky charm. For she is audition. the lucky charm. Both of them. Both EJ of them, as yeah. EJ as well. Like he would like look for the smallest minuscule detail that goes wrong in how you sing a certain thing, ah. and he'd be like, "No, sing it like this," and then it'll sound amazing. And then he'll look at the sheet music. Mm-hmm. And then he'll play it, and halfway through, he goes, no, that's not how it's supposed to sound. And this is the sheet music of the actual musical. And he'll change it, and it sounds better. And I remember 
you did put in a cute yodel somewhere in your audition, was it? Yeah. I'll take care of you. Because it's about Switzerland or Austria. So there's a there's a there's a yodel, right? So I tried to put a little bit of that touch in there too, and that's that. EJ was like, "Yeah, do it, do it. I think you should." But wala wala wala. This is not for free. This is like a friendship. Yeah, it's a friendship thing. And but then again, for example, I've done a couple of shows with him already. Kung paano ko naging leading lady, which um. Yeah, it's Tagalog, but I was an English character there. Mm-hmm. And um, hair. He's also been kind of like a ride-or-die friend as well. Nice. So during the pandemic, we would talk a lot. Mm-hmm. We would play Animal Crossing. <laughs> like, constantly. There are a friends. There are games. Well, I mean, that was just because EJ told me to play it. You know, we should try our friends' hobbies Correct. once in a yeah. while. Because I'm sure a lot of them have... Mm-hmm. Something that you know they want to share with you as well yeah. as part of their. And if you don't like it, don't do it. But if you, you sometimes you find yourself enjoying it and, mm-hmm. and starting to get addicted to it as well, <laughs> which is fun. Good addictions are good. And it's a bonding moment. Yeah, wow. it's cute how when you are a theater friend, you do have a lot of common friends as well. And yeah, it's nice also to support. We did watch like a play together, but not really like we planned it. But yeah. we were there supporting then people from the community. We watched Shasha Saturna together. Shasha Saturna. Yeah, I remember we watched that together. And um, it was interesting because it was all of the alternates who were on stage, not mm-hmm. our friends. So we're like, okay, how is we're this going to go? Support, we're but... here to support regardless. Even Correct. if they were like the, the students. We were like, okay, you can do it. You can do it. We were rooting for them as, uh-huh. I mean, I guess as actors as well. We know how it feels like yeah. to be there on stage for the first time without an audience supporting you. And mm-hmm. and they're they're trying their best. They're doing yeah. the best they could. And you just want to cheer for them because you want them to do well as well. You don't want the whole experience to be awkward for everyone else who probably Correct. had their first theater experience watching, watching this. Watching that day. You're right? Yeah. So it's... The theater community is good because it's not just about friendships but also supporting and making sure like, Kanara, yeah, you get a new role or EJ, he's going to do a new play yeah. that he just wrote, diba, the music for, you know, those things. But and you're also pushing everyone's creativity forward. Yeah. Even if you don't know them. Yeah, and like, and what's what's cool about like, for example, EJ or Mike Solomon, some of the most, like Vince De Jesus, some of the most iconic musical directors um, in the Philippines. Or so, Joe Ed Balsamo. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know? He was the one I met. The very, He's the first one I met ever. Oh, when we did that, we did more. No. He was my music director in high school. No. Yes. I would, sing, I would sing classical arias. And he was there to, to help me. Even if, if it was too high for me or something, he would lower the key or whatever. Oh. And he just... He just do it all out of the goodness of his mm-hmm. heart. And he's such a great guy. So he's out of all these music directors, he's the first one I worked with. And not even worked with. Like I studied nice. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> under. He's uh, a professor as he, well. Yeah. He's uh, fantastic. So all of these four, the, the good thing about them, which is exactly what I was trying to, my point was um, that each of these di- directors, a musical director is only, it's not uh, a form of just being self absorbed with your music Mm -hmm. this is how it's supposed to be sung Mm -hmm. this is how it's supposed to be done you have to also understand the actors and their capabilities so if they are good at a certain field if they have like a higher range or they have a scat or they have this or that or a good falsetto then they know what to do with the song to make you sound the best you can on that stage Mm -hmm. because there are also some music directors i fortunately i've never worked with who are like this, but um, who actually like, say, let's stick to this because this is how it's supposed to be done. And you look like not very good on stage. Mm-mm. They're trying to maximize. They're trying to they, make they, you... they actually have relationships because with us and they know us so well. They know us when to push us. Like my last project then was with Jed Balsamo. It was Sarsuela. Yeah. And it was a big challenge, but I knew he knew my voice really well because we sing at home. Yeah. And he even changed the instrumentation so that my voice would pop up. He didn't make it piano because piano matches my voice too well. So he made it um, guitar and cello. Uh, yeah. Cello. Wow. Yeah, so, sabi niya, don't worry, your voice will pop up. But he was also like, oh, 
wala tong ano ah, mic, wala kaming lapel mic and the mics were just on the floor and one above. Like no. A, uh, so so yeah, the I saw, I saw that actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was that was, one show? Yeah, Elle was looking for you. It's like, oh, why isn't gosh. Marky here? Uh, <laughs> the next one, the next one. Next one, I'll be there. Promise, promise, No, no, promise. no, I mean, why are you not in the show? Then? Aye, yeah, next one, yeah, I'll, I'll be in the show. Elle assumes we I'll do all show. our shows together. <laughs> we gotta be in the show together next. You've had a long day and I'm really glad that you're here. Thank oh. you for being such a friend. Oh. So now with this podcast, you know, we, we really didn't know what we were gonna do at the end, but I realized that not everyone gets to be enlightened by individuals like you or, or other guests like Isa Calzado oh, or, I love her. or my oh. coach James. So if there's someone listening who really needs to hear something from you, can you give them like an affirmation that they could listen to as your friend? Because that's their like special, that's our special connection. But let's give that to them. Like, what could you impart as a great friend? Like, what advice could you give or like an affirmation that they could kind of get what you do in life? Because yeah. you're very good. At be- you're great at being a friend. If, well, I guess if you if you love something, if you love doing something, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Because if you put your heart and your mind and your soul into it, and you love it, mm-hmm. like, I don't know if you you watch Sister Act 2. If you wake up in the morning and all you want to be is a singer, you're meant to be a singer. Mm-hmm. Right? You're meant to do what you want to do, what you love to do. But of course, it's under the constraints of, for example, you need to make the money. So you need to find things to do on the side to make that money. Or if you're fortunate enough to do something that you love, like, well, I guess myself and Kirill, uh, things that we get to do in life that are what we love and still make money from it. That is the, the biggest joy in life because you only have one life to live. In this one life that we have, money is not the end all be all, this perfect Instagram relationship isn't the (laughs) be all end all. It's if you wake up in the morning and you say, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's 5 a.m. I'm going to radio, but I love what I do. (laughs) I love every second of it. It's never going to become work. It'll just be life. And where can future aspiring drag queens buy heels? Because I just remember (laughs) that it's impossible to buy heels for you know men's size or even my mom she has big feet so she has a hard time finding them here so um, where can you find them this is valuable advice okay. right here you can talk to Aaron Montoya Job Dacon a lot there's a lot of big big uh, stylists Omar Sally was the one who made my pink boots okay oh um, so it's an, a custom made custom made um, because I have size 10 feet I, Correct. I don't think I'm going to find heels yeah, 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 yeah. my size so this is a valid question yes and this is valuable information um, right here. I think there is one really good one as well uh, basta there's, there are so many Marikina they're all uh, Marikina and Kainta that's where they have all of the, the shoemakers uh-huh. and it's so cheap it's much cool, cheaper than cool. you'd expect uh, send me a message na lang. I'll, I'll, I'll send you all of my contacts. Madami akong contacts who do custom-made boots and yeah. heels as well. But, I mean, it's, it's been a while. I've been I've been going to <laughs> buff mode now. So, I, mode. I'm it's avoiding the skinny twink vibe um, that I used to <laughs> do in the past few years. But now I'm trying to, like, bulk up. Uh, thank you, Coach Ray, for... For my body. Um, this is, so what do you call this? If it's not skinny twink, is that what you're saying? No, what's the <laughs> it's one? a skinny twink. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, uh, that's when you're, when you're very skinny. What my yawn is? Uh, like, like a Troy Sivan. I went, I went, I had my dad bod era for a bit because I had the bulk. So lots of protein, mm-hmm. lots of carbs, just so that I get that size. My problem because before is I would get big. And then when I started cardio, I would shrink again and go uh, back and to my twinky body. Oh. What I want kasi now is to get that bulk up top and in my puet. <laughs> and then shrink this. Uh-huh. So it involved a lot of uh, other things that I needed. Like, I want to try something new this time around. Okay. Shout out to Beauty Lab. Um, I tried bulking first and then just getting meso lipo here. 
I in see. the middle area. But this is the only thing that shrinks. Uh -huh. You know, you, it's all trial and error. You try something new and mm -hmm. then and then if it works, it works. If, it, if not, try something new, try something else. And I guess that's what life is as well. Yeah. Just always try new things. Uh, don't be afraid to try something new because... Uh, again, we only have one life to live and who knows, you might actually enjoy this new thing, a new right. endeavor, a new adventure, a new country, a new friend. Nice. Thank you, friend. Chingu. Thank you, friend. Because it's Chingu. case drama. Yeah, Chingu. <laughs> no, but I do watch a lot of, I mean, I don't, I'm not a, a big K-drama fan, but I have watched a couple of K-horror. Ah. I'm a K horror stan. Like if I see. not the manga zombies. Yeah. Manga zombie din. Manga okay. zombie din. I I don't know. I I'm I enjoy those uh train to busan kind right. of thing. So <laughs> whenever there's a horror case. Yung mga nasa school, yung mga. Okay. Oh, yung mga nasa uh -oh. school or yung mga nasa apartment building. Oh, that one I saw that. You saw that one uh -oh. too. Yeah, so I'm a fan of those. The ones where uh you know there's just something always at stake. My my dramas I get from the Latinos. I see. Latino. So is it still yeah, the telenovela? Telenovela. Yeah. Oh. Like, telenovela. Si, so like si I'm senor. a si, senor. I'm a fan of a lot of the South American Spanish money heists ah, okay, kind okay, of okay. thing. And I, I just enjoy watching mm -hmm. um amazing actors from other countries and rooting for them. Seeing nice. Seeing how they will grow and become international stars like Dolly De Leon, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to see more of those. I want to see more Filipinos uh, have the opportunity to show their talents abroad and really get the recognition they deserve. So here's to more projects, and of course, your show is Morning Rush. That's every day, Monday to Friday, six to ten a.m. And uh, yeah, that's on RX 93.1. And your social, so that we could follow your every adventure. Marky Strom, M A R K K I S T R O E M, on, well, everything. Except mm -hmm. Facebook has a space. <laughs> yes. <laughs> everything else is Marky Strom. And please support our Filipino delegates, not just in Pokemon, but in acting, in singing, in dancing, in pageant, in drag, in whatever. Nice. Let's just support the Filipinos. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you for being so pro -pino. I love it. Uh, yeah. You bring I, it out in me as well. It's uh, no, it's one of those things. I, Pinoy pride is not just, uh, everyone's always like, oh, puro Pinoy pride, Pinoy. No, it's something that we should be proud about. Correct. Because I think we have one of the most talented cultures in the mm -hmm. world. And we just don't have that stage to showcase what we have. And I just hope that we get more of that. Yeah, we're building it. It's getting stronger and stronger. And so many fans are supporting, mm -hmm. not a Philippine theater, yeah. everything. It's, it's bringing the community so we, together. Yeah, the communities are getting yeah. bigger and stronger. Yeah. Thanks to people like you. I mean, well, and people like you and people like, uh, you know, every single person that we've worked with, even mm -hmm. in Sound of Music, the people who aren't necessarily just Shout Filipino. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. Um, they were also there just supporting us and mm -hmm. we were supporting them. And I think that's how it should be in anything that we do. Like, walang ingitan. <laughs> walang ingitan dapat. Dapat, I don't know, we should be happy for the people who are doing well and yes. are you know have something wonderful in their lives. Yes, competition is good, healthy competition. Right. But yeah, malang We don't yeah. want to put people down. Let's when try people to are doing well. It's great off. for the community. More projects happen, and yeah, yeah just let's a great positive vibe. Yeah, I think that's that's the thing. Kung may nega block, <laughs> yun nakailangan sa buhay ang nega. Just remove them from. Like, literally, you're happy for them. They're not probably happy for you. You're happy for <laughs> them because they are living their truth. But don't live your truth in my space. Mm -hmm. You want to be surrounded by people who are pushing you to succeed as opposed yes. to wanting to push you down. Yeah. yeah, and I'm happy I have you with me on that journey. Yes. Professionally. Hey, look at like us. Love wise and everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's give a big hand to Marky. Strum. 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 Yeah, get it right, guys. Yeah, three kings. Yeah, Tatlong Hari and Strum. Strum. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with more theater projects. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Bye. See you. <laughs> All right. Next up on Case Drama.
I have really like problematic skin so I just use the products that I've been using for years but I don't no time to experiment so um, Dr. Bello and Dr. Carlo of Bello in Shangri-La Mall they have given me this program and I just stick to it. Oh, 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 oh,